Figure 1 shows a sketch of part of the curve with the equation y equals f of x, where f of x is equal to 2x minus 5 multiplied by e to the power x, where x is a real number. The curve has a minimum turning point at point A. Use calculus to find the exact coordinates of A. So point A, minimum turning point, I know that's where dy by dx is equal to 0. So I need to do some differentiation and make it equal to 0. Right, in order for me to differentiate my function, notice the function is a product of two different functions. So I need to use the product rule. Let's let u be equal to 2x minus 5. And let's let v be equal to e to the, my, e to the power x. Differentiating 2x minus 5, I get 2. Differentiating e to the power x, I get e to the power x. So differentiating then, I get u dash times v plus u times v dash. And that has to equal 0 at point A. Let me factorise the e to the power x outside. So that's going to give me a 2 plus 2x minus 5, which I can simplify to be 2x minus 3. Now, I know e to the power x can never equal 0, so the only part that can equal 0 is the 2x minus 3. So therefore, x is going to equal 3 over 2. So that's the x-coordinate. If I now take that and substitute 3 over 2 into the original function, then I find that the y-coordinate is going to be uh, minus 2e to the 3 over 2. So this is the answer to part A. We're then told that uh, given the equation f of x is equal to k, where k is a constant, has exactly two roots. So let's think about what that would look like, f of x equals k. So we've already got the f of x function drawn on here. Let me draw the y equals k function as well. So y equals k which would just be a straight line. For example, it could be y equals 2 or y equals 3. It's going to look something like that. But that the way I've drawn it there, there would only be one solution. We were told it has exactly two roots. So where can I draw this horizontal line, this y equals k, where it intersects with the f of x function twice. Well, it could be here, for example. That's going to intersect twice, here and here. Or it could be here, or here, or here, or here. Any of these values here, it can't be zero. Because it looks to me like this is an asymptote here where it's getting closer and closer and closer to zero, but never actually touching. So this can't be on zero, but it could be here. It could be just above zero. Oh, sorry, just below zero. Just below zero here, because like I say, I think this is an asymptote that's going to get closer and closer and closer to zero, but never actually touch it. Like I say, as long as k is below 0 and it has to be above point A. It can't be equal to point A because if it equaled point A, then that, that's only got one solution. So we're saying that k has to be less than 0 but bigger than the k value, the y value here which is the minus 2e to the 3 over 2. As long as k is above minus 3 over 2, it will be here, 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 here. These all have exactly two roots, up to the point where you get to exactly 0, and then there's only one root again.
here. So it has to be between here and here. Part C, sketch the curve with the equation uh, y equals the modulus of f of x. Indicating clearly on your sketch the coordinates of the points at which the curve crosses or meets the axis. Well, I know that the modulus on the outside of the f of x function is going to affect the y coordinates. Where y is already positive, there will be no effect at all. So there's going to be no effect here at all. But where y is negative, so where the y values were negative here, it's going to uh, flip those so they're positive. Excuse me. So my graph, this part of the graph will not be affected at all. But then the, the uh, bit that was below the axis is now going to be reflected and be above the axis. It's going to look something like this. I need to indicate the points where the curve crosses the axes. So I need to say what this coordinate here is and what this coordinate here is. Here I know x is 0, so if I substitute 0 into that original function, I'll get 2 times 0 minus 5 times e to the power 0, which gives minus 5. Well, that would be the minus 5 down here, but when I do the modulus of that, I'll obviously get plus 5. And this point here is where y equals 0. So let's take our function, make it equal to zero. We know the exponential here can't equal zero, so we'll ignore that. So therefore, 2x minus 5 equals zero, and x equals 5 over 2.